Hey, what's up guys? This is Jeffrey with Jay's Photoshop Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to make this awesome nice t-shirt. Very easy to make. I'm going to have all the links in the description, you know, to download the text, the t-shirt, studs, and uh, the actual cheetah prints. So stay tuned and uh, let's do Photoshop. Okay guys, so once you guys have the plain t-shirt, uh, the first step we are going to do is grab the uh, select tool which is this one, the quick selection tool, all right. And then we just select uh, the t-shirt sleeves. That is the first part. Uh, once you have selected it, you like how it looks, uh, it's basically control Z to, on your keyboard to take that off if you had done any mistakes. I'm also changing the size of your brush would help as well. You could change the sizes by clicking on your brackets on the keyboard or you could just click up here and do whatever you want with the size right there. Okay, so I'm just do this selection. Okay, so I like how that looks. Uh, the next step would be creating a new layer. Now, after you create the new layer, you're going to want to add the prints, the cheetah prints, actually. So here's the image of the cheetah prints. I will have the download in the description. So you guys can do that at home. And here's the cheetah prints. Now just drag this down, get the selecting tool, and now just drag this right onto that image. You could close this for now. Okay, now once you guys um, already place the image, uh, go on the bottom layer right here. Make sure you click on mask, so then you will have this little black square with the white sleeves. Now what you want to do is click on the actual cheetah prints uh, player, click control T, press shift, keep shift, press down, now, now you drag down all the way, I keep on dragging, depends on how big you want your cheetah prints to show up on your t-shirt, on the sleeves, I want them small like that size you click enter okay now what you can do is click control J to duplicate that layer now what we're gonna do is grab it and put it above the other sleeve make sure it's covering the sleeve now what you do is you click on layer where the sleeves are the mask you made and once you click on it, you have to uh, have control click, uh, press down. And then on this cheetah print, you click on the mask, and it's going to mask out the sleeve. Now on the other side, you do the same thing. Make sure you click on any of these uh, mask, what, the black squares. Then you go click on the other sleeve and you click on mask as well and there you go and that's how you make the sleeves now the next part would be actually putting the text in here uh, I will actually have the text for you in the description to download uh, I will also, also make a separate video on how to install uh, the fonts and uh, go to a font website and all that but for now, let's work on the text. Okay, let's uh, click here on the T that's for the text. And we click anywhere on the shirt. I'm going to just make up a brand. Let's call it All Good called all good NYC 
Oh yeah, this uh, font does not go with it. So let's actually see if we could look for one for this tutorial. This is actually the hardest part for me. Uh, you just have to find a good text that goes with the shirt. Let's see what I could find. Okay guys, so this is actually the text that I uh, chose. It's called Painter. Um, after that you guys could just adjust the size that you want on it. Um, mine I chose 24.25. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I did the layer styles. Um, what you want to do is you do a right click on your mouse and you go into blending options. After you go into blending options, I went on to stroke. So basically with stroke, I chose a size of 8. Uh, opacity is 100. Color, I just went and clicked on the cheetah print so it could give me that color. And that's basically what the stroke does right there. After that, I just took drop shadow. And on distance is 16 spread 3 size 24 so that's basically how you get that look right there and all you do is click on ok um, to make these a bit more organized down here you could uh, let's put all the sleeves together click on the first sleeve and um, hold shift and click on the third one then click control G and that is just turned into a group there and you could put any color you want in there just to mark it. Okay, now the next part that we're going to do is going to be another text. I'm going to put all good NYC, which stands for New York City. And what we're going to do is get the text tool again. We we'll click on the image. And I'm actually going to put letter by letter because I'm going to um, just modify them, the letters. I'm just going to put them, you know, organize them however I want to. Uh, so let's do that right now. Let's uh, move that down here. I'm actually going to change that text uh, the font. So just click on the text tool, click on the N. And let's look for a different font here. Uh, let's see now. Okay, the text I showed was Pilot Rays. Now, remember, I will have the link in the description to download these fonts. Um, so, I like how that letter looks. Now, I'm going to click on on the T tool again, the text tool. I'm going to type in a Y. It's going to be my other letter. And then I'm going to want to click Control T. So I click Control T, hold Shift. And now just put it the size you want it to be. You want to spin it all so you said you want you could do that click enter if you're happy with that click the text tool again uh, now we're going to put a C in there whoops I just clicked it right next to the end Okay, there we go, letter C. Now we click Control T once again, hold down Shift, and pull towards up. And then place the letter wherever you feel like. Go down, want to change the sizes. Okay, that's about it there. 
Now, if you actually want to play around with a few of the letters, uh, all you guys have to do, like letter Y there, I might modify it. What I will do is rasterize type, put, do a right click on the wire, rasterize type, and then you click Control T, and then do a right click, and click on Wrap. That's just in case you guys want to change it up a little bit. Hold the Shift button, and then you guys can, you know, play around with it. I'm going to leave it like that for now. You can control Z here. Or you guys can just click this button right here. Okay guys, now the next step you guys would want to do is merge all these three letters together. Uh, let's actually put them uh, let's see, I actually like this. Yeah, I like how it looks. Let's merge them all together. So click shift, click on the first one, click on hold and shift, click on the third one, we'll select all of them together, do a right click, and then once you do a right click, let's hit on rasterize type. After you click on rasterize type, we're gonna click on merge layers. So as you can see it's gonna be one layer. Maybe I'll turn it back on. I just put it wherever you guys want. And there you go. Okay, now the next step is putting the cheetah prints inside the letters. Now this is just similar like the sleeves. Let's go ahead and bring in the cheetah print once again. So let's click on open. Cheetah prints. Click on open again. Okay. Take this and drag it over here. Close that. Okay, so make sure that the layer is above the NYC. Um, click on that layer. Click Control T to sh let's shrink this down. Now, depending on how big you want the size of the cheetah prints, um, you're gonna make it smaller or bigger. So, I want about that size. Make sure it's covering where it says NYC. Click Enter. Now we're gonna hold Control key and we're gonna click on that text. So that's going to select the text. Then go. Make sure you you have the layer five active, which is a cheetah print, and you click on Mask. So there's going to be a mask created in that text so then you're going to have the uh, cheetah prints there in the text now it doesn't look that great right now so we have to put a little bit um, of the layer styles we have to play with that now so let's click on fonts and letters NYC go on blending options and then on blending options uh, we're going to use stroke and we're going to use drop shadow now on stroke, we're going to put that up a bit. Let's see what size we'd like. I'm going to go with size 8. Now on drop shadow, I'm going to play with this a little bit. Let's increase the size of it. Distance. Let's see. I think it looks pretty cool right there. Uh, then you click OK, and that's how you put the text with the cheetah prints. Now, the final step would be adding the studs over here. So, what we're going to do is click on File, Open, and I have my studs right there. Click on Open. Now, remember, I will have a link in the description to download these images. And all you guys have to do is use this tool, the Select tool. And then you just select the stud and click Control C to copy. Go back to your image and then you click Control V. That will paste the stud in the image. Now, all you guys have to do is bring it up here and modify it however you like by clicking Control T. You can hold the Control button. 
and rotate it like so. So when you place it wherever you guys desire. And then you can just click on Control J to copy that layer and then move it towards the other side. If you guys want to put this touch smaller, Control T, make it smaller. And then when you're done, just put it on that side. Okay, guys, so this is what I did with mine. I put them smaller. Um, if you guys could fit maybe a fourth one there, maybe you put them a bit smaller. Uh, but, you know, you just got to play with it see how you like it um and this is about it it wasn't that hard if you guys enjoyed it like the video thumbs up subscribe for more new videos leave your comments to tell me what you think and what you guys would like to learn okay uh this was jeffrey with you and thank you for watching jay's photoshop tutorials have a nice day